Footprints on the Sands of Time. This is the footprint of one of the monsters who ruled the Earth millions of years ago, found in the lost world of the Amazon jungle. Through clues like this, science detectives more brilliant than Sherlock Holmes unlock the riddle of the past as they dig out the fossilized bones of our giant predecessors on this planet. But finding them is only a part of this great adventure story. Reconstructing the whole creature from fragments calls for truly inspired deduction. Here they fit together the bones of a hairy mammoth, long-tusked ancestor of our present-day elephant. These, the skeletons in our closet. Weird titans who seem no more real than a nightmare to the tiny humans who rule the Earth at present. A nightmare? Let's get back to the footprint in the motion picture version of Arthur Conan Doyle's great novel, The Lost World and examine it more closely. For it's not a million years old. It was made only a few moments ago. A dinosaur! Now the screen recreates in color and cinemascope the wonders that Doyle visualized in his masterpiece. A vast plateau in the Amazon jungle, lifted from contact with the rest of the world by an ancient volcanic eruption. Isolating reptile life of the Jurassic Age, rediscovered by modern explorers whose strength is puny indeed compared to the destructive force of these monsters. Yes, man faces a desperate situation in this lost world where the only law is survival of the fittest, the rule of fang and claw, where even the vegetation is a death trap, where spiders grow to giant proportions, where terrified flight across the spine of a dinosaur skeleton leads to a lake of lava where the giant fire serpent rises to challenge them. Fantastic as it seems, life adapts to many different conditions. And man has come to rule the earth, not by his strength, but by a brain capacity that has enabled him to triumph over these powerful but slow-witted monsters who have become extinct everywhere, but in this lost world of Arthur Conan Doyle. And it makes us wonder, will man too become extinct when he fails to adapt to changing cataclysmic conditions? Someday will a new species from this or another planet dig into the earth and find the bones of our civilization left as footprints on the sands of time. <laughs>